There's five ways increasing your credit limit is game changing. And it's game changing because higher credit limits lead to more credit on every new card that you sign up for and lower mortgage payments on every home you buy. Now, why is that? Because not only is increasing your credit limits the fastest way to increase your FICO score in less than 30 days and get into the 800 club, but it also removes the main problem holding you back from getting approved for more personal and business funding. And it gives you the credit superpower to pull your friends and family up the credit score ladder. Increasing your credit limit is by far the fastest way to raise your credit scores and it's not even close. It helps so much because it lowers your credit utilization rate. That's just a fancy way of saying how much of your credit you're actually using. When you double your credit limit without touching anything else, you instantly cut your credit usage in half. Doing this can skyrocket your credit score in less than 30 days. Credit usage makes up a whopping 30% of your FICO score. That's a pretty big chunk, right? And FICO score high achievers usually keep their utilization around 7%. Now me, I like to play it extra safe and keep mine between one to 3%. It's all about showing you're in control of your spending. After reading a few insider conversations with credit card company employees and managers, the information is already out there. Turns out banks love seeing big paydowns on your credit report. It's like a green light to them that you're good with money. And here's another fact. Banks are more likely to lend to people who don't seem to need the money. Now that sounds backwards, but it's all about risk. If you seem like you don't need it, you're seen as a safer bet. Now, why is all this important? Well, having a better credit score is a game changer in your life. It can mean the difference between getting that dream home or the dream car. It can even affect things like your insurance rates and job opportunities. So yeah, it's a pretty big deal. Increasing your credit limits gives you the breathing room to spend as much as you want at any time. Imagine you've got your eye on something big, maybe one of those fridges with a see-through door or a new MacBook that you've been needing for months now. A higher limit makes hitting those targets a walk in the park. You can even rack up rewards way faster without maxing out your credit card. It's like a shortcut to scoring those travel miles or cashback bonuses since you can qualify with just one big purchase. Now I did that with my Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card. It had an all time high sign up bonus of $900 cash back when you spend over $6,000 in the first three months from account opening. The problem is that my media business doesn't typically spend that much in a three month period. So I had to get creative with it. I hit up my business tax advisor and found out that I would need to make an additional tax payment for 2023. So I used the Chase card to pay $4,000 in business taxes along with buying some extra camera gear to qualify for the sign up bonus. Because my starting credit limit was $21,000, I was able to make those payments in a matter of days without paying down the balance. And here's the sneaky benefit that nobody thinks about. You completely dodge those over the limit fees. You ever been slapped with a fee for spending too much? With a higher limit, that risk goes away. You've got more room to maneuver so you're less likely to accidentally overspend and face those annoying charges. And let's be real, who doesn't want more room to breathe financially? It's about having the freedom to make moves in your life without being held back by your credit limit. Earning a sign-up bonus faster with a higher credit limit is great, but what if you could also double the rewards on your everyday purchases too? That's where Kudos comes in. Kudos isn't just another shopping app, it's a completely free browser extension that Card Rates calls the number one app to multiply your credit card rewards. That's because Kudos doubles your rewards on over 15,000 stores like Walmart and Priceline in just one click. If you're not sure about which card to use on a purchase, it automatically appears at checkout and suggests the best card to use based on your spending habits and rewards preferences. But that's not all. Kudos will even show you all your hidden benefits like travel insurance and extended warranties to guarantee that you're always using the best card. And when it's time to check out, forget about the hassle of typing in your credit card details. Kudos will autofill your card info for you, and you can rest easy knowing that your data is shielded by bank level encryption. Now, you might be wondering about the cost. Kudos is completely free. There's no hidden cost. Kudos simply earns a small commission when you shop at one of their partner sites. So why should you download Kudos? You'll earn double the rewards at over 15,000 stores, get smart card recommendations whenever you shop online, breeze through checkout with autofill and unlock hidden card benefits. And Kudos works on all the major desktop browsers and your iPhone. Just click the link below and add the code CAL to add Kudos for free today. And for a limited time only, you'll earn 2000 points after your first eligible purchase. That's the equivalent of getting $20 back. 
Kudos helped 150,000 members earn over $100 million in credit card rewards just last year. So don't wait and download Kudos for free today. Now, I think increasing your credit limits gives you an unfair advantage when it comes to applying for new cards. Banks will look at the current limit of your other bank issued credit cards to determine how much they will lend to you. Banks like to see that you have the experience managing the limits you already have. Bank employees have said they don't verify income. They just look at your current credit limits and reported balances along with the size of installment loans to make an educated guess as to whether your stated income is reasonable. Having higher limits just adds more validity to your stated income. When you're applying for a new credit card, the bank's computer algorithm goes into detective mode. It's like they're saying, let's see how much other banks trust this person with. If you've got higher limits on your other existing cards, it's a good sign to them. It's like having your current banks vouch for you and say, yeah, they can handle big numbers. But it's not just about having high limits. It's about how you handle them. Banks love it when they see you're not just maxing out your card left and right. They want to see that you're the type of person that you can use 30% or more of your credit limit and pay it right back down regularly. And here's something interesting. When it comes to proving how much you earn, banks often take a shortcut. Instead of digging deep and asking for proof of income, they'll often glance at your current credit limits. They use this info to make an educated guess on whether your stated income seems legit or not. Higher limits on your cars will make your income claims more believable too. It's like the banks are saying, okay, if they're handling big limits well, they're probably earning enough to back it up. Let's not forget about the peace of mind having higher limits brings you. Knowing you've got that extra credit if you need it can take a load off your mind. It's like having an emergency fund that you don't have to dip into your savings for, especially when you can pay it off in less than 30 days. Having higher personal limits is like having a bigger financial toolbox. It just gives you more options in handling whatever money stuff life throws at you. So we have to talk about how the size of your personal credit limits has a huge positive effect on your business credit limits too. Let's say you're running a business and you apply for a business credit card. The credit card company is gonna look at two things, the highest limits you've got on your personal credit cards and what your business is making usually around 10 to 15% of your projected revenue. It's kind of like they're using your personal credit as a measuring stick for your business. So how you handle your personal finances gives them clues about how you'll manage your business finances. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky. You could have a great credit score and a business that's doing pretty well, but if your personal credit limits are on the low side, you might find yourself stuck with a super low business credit card limit that's not really doing you any favors. It's like having a Tesla, but you can only drive it 30 miles per hour. Now, why is a business credit limit such a big deal? Think about the possibilities that it opens up. With more credit, your business can make bigger moves. Maybe you need to upgrade your equipment. Maybe you wanna expand your product line or take on a big project. Higher credit limits mean you can do all that without draining your business bank account or a lot worse, maxing out your personal credit card limits. That right there hurts so many small business owners and it severely limits your ability to get more business funding. Running a business has huge highs and lows like a roller coaster. A higher credit limit is like having a safety net. When cash is tight, you've got a buffer to keep things running smoothly without hitting the panic button. This is super important for small businesses that might not have a huge cash reserve to fall back on. And having access to more credit means you can jump on opportunities faster. Maybe you see a great deal on inventory, or need to pump some cash into marketing. A higher credit limit lets you make those decisions quickly without missing out. One of the most underrated benefits of having higher credit limits is the life-changing help you can give to others without spending any money. When you have a higher limit, you can help boost someone else's credit score. It's like having a credit superpower you can just give to someone else. One of the easiest and oldest ways to do this is by adding someone on as an authorized user to your credit card account. This isn't just any account though. We're talking about one with a high credit limit and a lengthy history of on-time payments. This is what folks call piggybacking. It's like giving someone a leg up using your good credit habits. But here's a twist that might surprise you. You can actually turn your good credit into a side hustle as well. There's websites like Trade Line Supply Company, where you can sell access to your aged high limit credit lines to people you don't even know. Imagine making some extra cash, say around $1,000 every couple of months, just because you've got a 10 year old account with a $20,000 limit that you've kept in good shape. It's like a win-win. You get some easy money and someone else gets a boost in their credit score. Now, why do people buy these trade lines? It's usually because they're about to make a big financial move, like buying a house or a car, or they're getting ready to apply for business funding. A better credit score can make a huge difference 
in those situations, like getting lower interest rates or bigger and better loan terms. Having a higher credit limit gives you the power to make a real difference in someone's financial life. Boosting their credit score can open up opportunities they might not have had otherwise, like helping someone get approved for a loan or save a bunch of money on interest before they close on their house. Now, that's something you can feel really good about. You know, there's another way you can boost your credit score in 30 days without help from anybody else. And you'll get a reported credit line up to $25,000. And one of my audience members increased their credit score by 15 points in the first 30 days. And another person saw a 28 point jump in the same amount of time. So click on the next video to check that out. Thank you for watching.